Good morning! Oh my god, it is Friday the 22nd of Febrero. That is February for those that don't speak Spanish. And it's been a couple months since I picked up my camera. I haven't even washed my face. That is as authentic as it's gonna get, okay? I don't wanna make this video too long um, because, uh, or no, well, not too long, but just me talking a lot. Um, I actually wanna kinda get in the habit of vlogging again. I miss it. Let me see, what else? So yeah, so I had to figure out a way to make an income because I didn't get approved for my disability. It's a long story. <laughs> With my previous job, um, I wasn't aware of, I guess, a small disclaimer, uh, and they didn't pay into the disability, and I've tried fighting it. Um, I also didn't qualify for Social Security income because technically, I don't have like a terminating illness, a term, a terminating, terminate, illness, terminating, you get what I'm saying. Um, but it's gonna be almost, I mean, I'm pretty sure that in June, I mean, it's been six, seven months, um. So I technically don't qualify for like the social security. Um, and I didn't, I mean, I, I knew that I wasn't. I thought I was going to qualify for state disability, but unfortunately I didn't. Um, what else? What else? So yeah, so I had to find ways to make money online. So I really have been focusing on that. I sell, I'm a consultant for like two companies. I do a little bit of online network marketing. So I'm building teams. Um, and I've been able to like kind of get by through it. Of course, with the support and help of my family, always. My mom and my sister are the MVPs of this whole situation. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get out of it soon, sooner rather than later. But yeah, like I, I, I think I needed that though because I was starting to get a lot of anxiety being home. Um, and that's why I just didn't pick up the camera because I just... You know, I like to vlog when I'm not feeling good. You all know that. But this was, um, I just really needed to find find my skill set again, feel useful for myself. I needed to dive in into that world. And I felt like I just needed to step away from it and I needed that. But now that I'm feeling a lot better and I feel like I've got my mind and like I said, I'm not 100% healed yet. Um, but I am in a lot better place and I feel like I can rejoin the journey because I did want to genuinely um, show everyone the process of having, you know, a tumor removed, uh, specifically for those that have am amyloblastoma. Um, I have had a couple people follow me on Instagram that recently had their surgery and, you know, I, um, try to get back to them as much as possible. Um, but mine has just taken a really long time because it did a lot of damage to my inner in our in our stuff <laughs> I'm it's early in the morning okay y'all so that's basically like a quick update on the past couple of months I am gonna um edit this a lot sooner so you're gonna be seeing this within you know I'm thinking about maybe uploading every other day I think I can handle that because I'm still home and I want to take advantage of the time that I am home but I do have to make money so i'm gonna leave all of my info down below and my facebook profile where i do all of my business stuff so if you want to support or if you know especially i sell jewelry for five bucks i'm gonna start selling cosmetics um and then i'm into other like businesses where you build a downline and if you're into that kind of stuff then i you know i'd love to help out so but that's like what's keeping me uh or that's what's keeping me sane for right now because i was feeling like i said not useful at all but anyways i've been blabbing for a long time and i know that that's you know pretty normal because i haven't picked up the camera in a while and it's just so much has happened but that's the gist of it without saying too much um i lost a family member also in january i had a couple things go on with my son in january uh, but we're all in a much better place and he misses the camera too and he's grown up so much so we're gonna get back to sharing our lives and hopefully growing this community because i've always i've always found support here so anyways on to the day you can only tell um that i'm not 100 percent. so he goes looking, looks in one place, looks in the other. He goes, I have a feeling they moved him. I have a feeling they moved him. All meanwhile, I'm standing and I'm like, okay, I kind of have to go to the bathroom, but I'm so freaking tired that I just want to get this pegboard. If they don't have it, I'll just get in my car and go home. The, the drive is like maybe seven minutes, you know, not a big deal. I can just go home. 
find it. They have two left. I only need one. They don't do the cutting. At this point, I'm like, okay, I, I kind of have to go to the bathroom. And I'm tired. So I really just want to get out of Home Depot. He helps me find the last piece of item. I needed S-hooks. He knew exactly where they were. He, you know, they were towards the register. So we walk together, grabs them for me. Perfect. Bang, bang, bang. Perfect. Um, I pay. Everything's good. As soon as I get in the car... I, my stomach just starts going and I'm like oh no I didn't know how to go to the bathroom that bad like really from the time I got to in my car and drove to my house I damn near shitted myself like hardcore and I cannot walk that fast so I'm like oh oh please you're almost there you're almost there I had to come home run to the bathroom and by run I mean you know you know what I mean I can't really run so I'm like mm. it's been the most stressful 20 to 25 minutes of my life <laughs> I'm exaggerating and my hand is hurting but um you get the point like for real I'm not I'm like I'm gonna move this so I can there we go um I just I don't like that at all like so it's quite chaotic but I made it and I came home with what I wanted I'm gonna ask my brother-in-law see if he can cut them for me but for now I can just hang the whole piece because the, the I don't know what it's called uh, usually most girls that are in this business or sell the jewelry buy um like those luggage racks or clothes racks and then that's how they hang them but they hang the whole board um i don't have that because i don't have the space or i mean i'm sure i have the space i just have to reorganize and i don't have that much inventory yet to get there so i'll figure out when i when i figure it out um but i have that and um i wanted to cut two of them because it has two little kind of um i don't know what they're called but they're like closet hanging whatever um but they didn't cut it and it, like i said at that point i just wanted to leave so this vlog turned out to be a talking vlog, even though I didn't want it. So let's see. It's only like 10.30 or about to, like 11 o'clock in the morning. And um, I already have like 10 minutes worth of me talking to you. So hopefully you missed my voice. Um, but Mr. CJ will be back later. So I'll take a break from vlogging. I'm going to set up my jewelry and then maybe I'll show you all that. Um, and then you get to see some of the pretty stuff that I sell. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. This is the pegboard that I struggled so much uh, to get this morning. But look at all this awesome jewelry. I have a lot of the wrapping on the floor. Oh, focus in. My lighting isn't that great. Isn't all that pretty? So I do my Facebook Lives. Um, I'm going to try to do a couple times a week. I had taken a break from that as well for a little bit um, after my aunt passed away. But... These are my long necklaces, but I'm back doing them again. They're not 100% organized. This is what I originally had when I first started. I just purchased these cork boards, and as you can see, these are like push pins. But look at how pretty! Look at this. So they, I have these are more. I keep my dainty stuff here so that you can see. Oh, I need to find. Oh, isn't that pretty? Um, I love this is like a choker so I display all of this um, I do have a business page so you can always like if you see something you can get it from there but uh, I'm gonna organize all this a little bit better I just stuck all the pins there really quick because I wanted to um, so I'm gonna add more earrings here and all that good stuff but it's basically the setup that I have right now and as you can see I only have three of these left I mean you can still fit a lot of like I can layer them which I have up here like some of these have um, like this one has three oh no two this one has three uh, and you can see I can probably fit maybe two more um, but yeah that's what I was talking about hit me up I'm gonna leave all my info in the description box if you're interested in supporting and remember all of this jewelry is only five bucks every single piece earrings bracelets I haven't even shown you the bracelets because they're in a box right now gotta order some displaying for that as well Woo! Bad guys, <laughs> Mr. Hurts. CJ. I was sweating today. Oh, you need to get off my bed. Get off my bed. Wait, 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 bullying me. Stop bullying me. <laughs> no, it's dirty. You're, I mean, you mean what? Your bed's dirty? No, 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 it's not dirty. It's not dirty. Yeah, doesn't he look so much older? I'm trying to. No. I have my, my wound open, you can kind of see it there. 
It's been a couple months, but you you grew. Yeah, you did. Well, the last time they saw you was like six months ago. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I did not grow at all. <laughs> well, I'm saying, okay, your features, your face features have changed. Of course they That's what I'm saying. Oh, excuse me, of course. Excuse them all. Excuse them all. Of course they change. Of course. Look at that pretty face. That's not pretty. I use the other one. So what? I don't let words define me. No words don't define You're pretty me. and handsome. I don't know how that makes sense to you. Okay. It does. You already know we're being inclusive. Oh! Not Who even. cares if you're pretty? You could be pretty and handsome. Okay, I get it, Mom. You get it? Alright, go get ready because we gotta go. Now? Yeah, we're, we're gonna leave. We're gonna go to... Um, her friend's house to eat some pozole and then we're gonna go to soccer practice. Okay? Okay. Good morning! It's the next day and we are off to my game. <laughs> soccer game. Woohoo! Playoffs game. We can't lose one or else we're out of the season. I know, but you're in the playoffs, so. Are you excited? Uh, a little nervous, but a little excited. Nervous, mostly excited. 90, awesome. Ninety-one percent nervous, ninety-nine percent excited. Well, that's a good ratio. All right, let's go. Mr. CJ is going to show you what he bought for his uh, soccer. Yeah, so I got new cleats because the other ones were starting to not fit. And so I got these orange ones. We got them at Russ. Ooh. You know, what? those are similar um, to the ones you had before. We bought, well, my mom bought his cleats last year. No, I'm not. They, it hasn't even been a full year, and you don't fit into them anymore. Yeah, it has been a full year. Am I? No, because you started playing soccer in, it's almost going to be a full year. Like, March or April, it's going to be a year. Okay. It's well, like it's going to be a year. Wait, did I start playing And she bought you your cleats, like, a month after you started, because you weren't, you didn't play for the first year. Because Mr. CJ was so new. Um, and he hadn't played for so long. You didn't really play that much in your first couple of games. No. It's not until maybe what a couple, like maybe a month ago, two months ago, yeah. that you've been playing um, almost all the games. Yeah. Since he's been training, he's been playing mostly second half towards the end, or he'll play uh, parts of the first half or second. Um, Today I played the full game. But yeah, well, you've been playing the full game for quite a for quite a bit now, for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, so your training has been paying off. Finally. Finally, I told you, I know. They get so impatient. And then bonus, because you grew out of your other ones. My chanclas. Your chanclas. I got the size nine. I know. Can you believe it, y'all? Like, those fit me. Or they're probably too big for me. They Let me see. See? I told you they fit me. They fit me big. They barely do. Oh my gosh. Your foot is getting big, y'all. I'll take this tag off. Okay? All right. Say hi. Mm -hmm. Turn on that light so they can have better lighting because there oh. we go. And and you're about to do the pelvic movement, so we weren't going to be able to see you oh, either. No, oh, no. oh. That's too, that's too, much, that's too much pelvic movement for Why one night. That? Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, mix an old school and new school, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why is this a music video? <laughs> Ready? Da na na na. Da na na na. Oh, I was trying to do some music for him. I like this. Anyway, say hi to the vlog. Hey, you guys already know. know what it is. <laughs> She loves it. She's like, you're like one of my only friends that likes being on, on video. Everybody love, else is like, I love you're leaving me? 
Yeah, I gotta go out. I gotta go play with my friend. Okay, come back in 20 minutes. Okay. So, you already know what it is. <laughs> Leah, I got my new hair. Of course, the bitch is feeling brand new. <laughs> I love it. We I love it. A, we're, talking, we're talking a lot of stuff right now. We're talking real facts. So, y'all already know what it is. We're gonna keep it real. Um, fuck all these niggas. <laughs> you don't have to bleep that out. <laughs> they ain't shit. They ain't gonna never be shit. <laughs> Boom! So, bam on that. Facts of the day and some some little inspiration for you. And also to all... You know what? You know what? This is going to be my closing part. So, you close out my vlog. Okay, so, mm -hmm. short story. Do not be friends with people that are going to talk mess about you. A perfect, okay. And the reason why, because all mm -hmm. the information you tell them, they're going to try to use that against you. But you can also use the information that they give you on them. So, so much wisdom. So... I would suggest be kind to your enemies. Be you know, kind. Just be kind because people, they going to get even mad when you're kind to them instead of being that typical angry black woman or angry <laughs> Latino, Latino woman. So you don't want to be that stereo stereotype. So I deal with people differently. You know, I don't give, I, don't, I really don't give a damn about just certain bitches that I don't really fuck with. <laughs> so they're trash. They're ba basura. Ba mas basura ese. Okay. <laughs> And also, I have a problem with the N word. Okay. Oh, you're really gonna preach to them tonight. Okay. The re white ancestors did you did what's the word I'm looking for? They did come up with the N word. However, we mm. use N I G G A to gain our power back as black people. Okay. So all these other ethnicities that use the N word to be cool, stop. Okay. S T O P. S T O P with exclamation point. Y'all need to stop because every time I hear y'all say the word, y'all probably don't even know the reason why it was said. The reason why it was meant for black people. Mm. I don't like saying it, and a lot of people in my in like my culture don't like saying it because we've been oppressed a lot. We built the cup like this country behind our backs, and so for y'all to, to use the N word towards us. That sounds like you're oppressing us all over again. It's like we're going over like through slavery. Yeah, we should all re respect each other's oppression. Like we're not gonna we're not gonna do no racial slurs. But apparently, mm. it's okay to say, and it's not okay. How would y'all feel if we if we called y'all racial slur? Y'all would be ready to y'all be ready to fight us. But it's not okay for y'all. But it's okay for y'all to say, and y'all expect us to fight back. No, that's false. End the story. Good night and bye. See you in the next episode. Hey. See you in the next episode, bitch.